You may be feeling cooped up wherever you are right now. Why not sit back, relax, close your eyes. Let Sofia Petrillo transport you. Picture it, Sicily, 1922. Let me tell you a story. Picture it, Sicily, 1922. A young military officer stationed far from home. He wanders the street seeking a friendly face and a glass of Chianti. Finally, he happens into a dusty little cafe where he finds both. The man laughs for the first time in months and finds inspiration in a beautiful peasant girl, wise beyond her years. When the cafe is closed, she takes him home with her. Three glorious days they make love and drink wine. He returns to his command, prepared to lead his people through whatever battles need to be fought. Dorothy, that young peasant girl was me. And that young man was Winston Churchill. Ma, you made that whole thing up. Now, what is your point? This is really lovely, Raymond. I hope you'd like it. Reminds me of the place I met Charles de Gaulle. We were lovers, you know. <laughs> really? Ma, that's a lie. Who asked you? <laughs> Picture it. Sicily, 1921. A beautiful young peasant girl saves her lira and takes a trip to Paris, the city of lights. Also, the only place a guy can wear a cape without getting a lot of funny looks. <laughs> she wanders into a restaurant and ends up sharing a table with a dashing young Frenchman. They drink, they talk, they burn a cork and draw mustaches on each other. What? Just wanted to see if you were listening. <laughs> anyway, the next thing she knows, it's hours later, the place is empty, and the Frenchman's got his schnoz down her blouse. <laughs> this begins a beautiful love affair. Kids, I was that peasant girl, and the schnoz was Charles the Mole. <laughs> Charles the Mole? Yeah, Charles the Mole. He was the wheel man for Louis the Ice Pick. <laughs> Ma, you said Charles de Gaulle. Yeah, right. I slept with Charles de Gaulle. I could have been the first lady of France, but I married your father instead. A man who cleaned his toenails with a shrimp fork. And then when I stopped, it just happened. I mean, a few hot flashes, and that was it. Oh, I've heard about those hot flashes. They didn't bother me. Oh, I live in Florida. Who can tell the difference between a hot flash and a weather front? <laughs> oh, but it's all so depressing. I had a cousin once, didn't get her period for 20 years. Then at 72, she got pregnant. Ma, that never happened. Yes, it did. Oh, come on. Then it must be in the Guinness Book of Records. It is, the Sicilian one. The Garibaldi Book of Records. Ma, no 72-year-old woman ever became pregnant. So what, it cheered her up? She'll cheer up when she realizes that it makes no difference at all in her life. It is just a concept. It is not based on reality. That will cheer her up. Let me tell you a story. Picture it. Sicily, 1922. <laughs> An attractive peasant girl who has saved her lira embarks on a glorious vacation to a Crimean resort on the Black Sea. For weeks, she frolics at this seaside resort and enjoys the company of many young men all of whom adore her. All of them? <laughs> Shut up, and I work alone. <laughs> All of them. When it's time to return to Sicily, three different suitors beg her to stay. But she can't decide who to choose, so she chooses none of them. But she agrees to meet with them at the same resort many years later. To her trio of suitors, that eventful gathering was referred to as rendezvous with Sophia. But to the rest of the world, it was better known as the Yalta Conference. <laughs> In Sicily, we had a guy with a multiple personality, only they didn't get along. And one personality put out a contract on the other. <laughs> you should have seen it. He had a shootout with himself in the piazza. He winged a priest, a waiter, and shot down the Cinzano sign. <laughs> Fortunately, he was able to beat himself senseless before anyone else got hurt. <laughs> Let's just get some sleep. <sighs> Good night, Ma. Good night, Mo. Good night, Lowry. 
I'm not going to be able to sleep. I'm on the wrong side of the bed. Well, I usually sleep on the right side, and I want to be on the right side. What the hell is everyone so particular about? In Sicily, four in a bed is a treat. <laughs> it means half your family is on vacation. I slept with my two brothers until I was 17. I was engaged to one for a very short period of time. But that's a separate story. I wouldn't mind hearing it. Oh. Ro, shut up. Ma, you are not helping matters. We are trying to think of a way we can make ourselves look better for that party. Okay, let me think. It's too bad we're not back home. There's no place like Sicily. Why do you say that, Sophia? Because in Sicily, I could solve this whole problem with one phone call. To who? Nicodemo the Ugly. Whenever you wanted to look gorgeous at a party, you hired him to be your date. You mean women paid him to stand next to them at parties and look disgusting? <laughs> Please, they paid through the nose. That's also how I usually gave them their change. <laughs> for prostitution. I can't believe him, Sophia. <laughs> Sophia, we're innocent. I know that. I can't believe these dumb cops would think anyone would pay money to sleep with you. <laughs> Sophia, did you come to bail us out? No, Rose. She's dropping off a manicotti with a file in it. Oh, girls, we're going to get to see Mr. Burt Reynolds. After all, I thought these beautiful tickets were all going to go to waste. <laughs> so, uh, which one of you isn't going? Well, I'm the one who won the tickets. Yeah, but my mom's the one who's bailing us out. I lost butter, Queen. Haven't I suffered enough? We'll, we'll draw straws. No. We'll flip a coin. No. Sophia, we had this all settled. Now try and be understanding. Understanding? I came down here to bail you out, and you're still not letting me go? Ma, will you stop complaining and get us out of here? Where are your roommates, Mrs. Petrillo? They're not here. Ma! Don't ma me, you cheap floozy. Ma, ma, you would do this to your own flesh and blood. You get over it, Dorothy. And if you don't, who cares? I'm on my way to see Bright Reynolds. Oh,